Hello, brothers and sisters. I want to welcome you to Des Echos de Charlotte. Today we have, we are in a new edition, uh, preparing February 2017. One great event is about happening in Charlotte Christian Assembly. Last year, all of y'all saw it in images and pictures, how the moving of the Holy Spirit was so great in this church of Pastor Oedipus in Yamba, where God did some great things. There were so many people coming from different places. And this year again, Pastor Epis is coming back again with his church to manifest God, to manifest the power of God, to manifest the power of the Holy Spirit. And today we have him here with us, here on this show. Hello, Pastor Epis. Hello, Brother Samuel. How are you doing? I'm very good, by God's grace. How are you feeling getting close to February? Because I know it's a great month for I you. I want it to church. be tomorrow, man. I want it to be tomorrow. I'm just expecting great things. I have a good news for you for the children of the Lord everywhere they are. I am inviting them for this great event that we are going to, to have here in Charlotte for the Pentecostal, yes. uh, Pentecostal uh, meeting. meeting. Yeah, And um, I am trying to invite them to come because I am under the expectation of a great move of the Holy Spirit here. I know that uh, 2016, it was just wonderful. Yeah, like, like, yeah. I, like I introduced it, it was really great seeing yeah. the move on the Holy Spirit. Yeah, but this but year... But you promised the same thing for this year? It's going to be greater than 2016. That's what, for sure. What, what assures you that it'll be greater? Because I know where I'm standing. So, <laughs> so the preparation is different or how? Because I, we know that you're a man of God. We know that you prepare yourself, you consecrate yourself. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit, the preparation will be different than 2016 or what? Mm, that is... Um, my secret. Sometimes I don't have to tell all my secrets uh, in, in, in the camera. Mm -hmm. But I know that we are trying to get uh, to be prepared for it. I know it's going to be wonderful. Yes, because you know, each year brings something new, yep, different. Yep, yep. And 2017 is going to be way different than 2016 because this time we're going to have five years of revival. Five years, and you know, five years grace. Yep. So I know that we're going to uh, be uh, a benef uh, beneficiary for yep. the grace of the Lord. Yep. And also it's going to be the grateful, the very the great meetings uh, so it's gonna be nice I know that you're speaking on the Holy Spirit can you please tell us what is the good news that you want to bring to the children of God this year 2017 2017 you have to have the Holy Spirit whether you like it or not you have to have the Holy Spirit because we are getting to the end of the word brother sometimes it's going to be too late for you to have it so this is the time the occasion that the Lord is giving you to come and to receive the Holy Spirit and in this place, this is my fifth year, I have been calling God uh, uh, into the scene and he has been coming for five years. And I know this time is going to be greater than all this other time. So 2017, I believe and I am under the great expectation to see the move of the Holy Spirit in your life this time. This time is not going to be for others. This time you are going to experiment it for yourself in your soul. That's what I'm um, expecting for this year for the children of the Lord. And we, we noticed that last year you organized and you did it by yourself. So this year, do you have visitors that you will have in your church, you will host in your church for these meetings? All the time. Every time when I'm trying to do something, I used to keep secret. Yeah. Yeah, because I want people to be just surprised. You know, sometimes if you have to tell everything in advance, it's yeah. not going to be good. And you know, the prophets say, uh, something is secret as long as you are keeping you it in your heart. If you, if you tell it, if you talk about it, the devil is not far away to catch your vision, to catch what you are saying. So it's not going to be anymore a secret. Mm -hmm. So for this time, I'm trying to, to, keep it. to keep it secret until those people who are going to come on, the, on, on, on those days, I know they are going to be uh, amazed to see what they're going to see. But I know one thing that they're going to be blessed. That's the reason why I am calling everybody. I am calling you, my brother. I am calling you, my sister. I don't even know uh, which church are you belonging to. It doesn't matter. The Holy Spirit is universal. It doesn't matter any church where you are going to. I am just inviting you to come. Come, please, in this month to come February. We are going to start our, our revival meetings. It's going to be on the Wednesday the 8th. And it's going to finish on uh, Sunday the 12th. February 2017 and we are going to have uh, uh, the prayer the prayer the, uh, the prayer line uh, for uh, the Holy Spirit and also for all other issue or other problem that you can have just bring it because our God is powerful is greater than all the problem that you have I know it's going to provide a solution for your problem yeah. and the organization how are you organizing yourself for these great events because Wednesday to Sunday, it's a lot of days. How are you accommodating for visitors? How are you preparing yourself for those things? Yeah, I have a group of people that I'm working with, yeah. those brothers and sisters. Um, uh, 
uh, working for Arapis Nyama Ministries. Yeah. They are very talented people. They know how to do, how to handle all those situations. And uh, they are helping me. And uh, no matter how many people will come, I know they have uh, that gift. They are gifted. Yeah, they know what to do to take care of the people. I am uh, uh, getting um, myself prepared spiritually yeah. and speaking. I'm trying to be closer to God again for this couple of weeks coming trying really to focus on what I'm going to be doing in a couple of weeks. I know yeah. because I want God to come down again as he used yeah. to come for yeah. all this time. Yeah. Before we let you go, Pastor Edipis, do you assure even our English speakers watching us there that they are welcome to come because mm -hmm. we know your church is French, it's mm -hmm. French speaking. Do you, do you assure them they can come and we'll be blessed? Oh yeah, I am assuring everybody to come. English speaker, Spanish speaker, a French speaker, Lingala speaker, every language that you are speaking come we are going to have interpreted for you and you are going to be blessed but the most important thing is for you to come be here because you will receive what is the desire of your heart and i know for sure i know the god that i save i know he's the guide of might i know he's the god of deliverance he's the god who can take the land from someone else and to give it to his children i know what he can do that god of miracles i know he's going to do something special for you you are you are welcome to come to invite someone else with you you will be blessed that i know for sure uh, don't forget it's going to start on uh, february the 8th and we are going to finish it on the february the 12th and it's going to be a blessing on wednesday it's going to start at seven and we're going to finish at nine on uh, on thursday thursday the ninth we're going to uh, start it at seven to finish at nine and on friday it's going to be the same thing uh, from seven to nine p.m and on sunday we are going on, on saturday it's going to be a time a quiet time that people are going to be there just to meditate to try to seek for the face of the lord to try to find out if there is any spot in their life to fix or to make things uh, correct in their lives and on a sunday that's the time the great event will be held so the lord will come on the scene and people will receive what are going to be the desire of their heart I said it, please. I know that it's always a pleasure to have you here on our show. It's always a pleasure. We always, it's difficult. It's kind of hard for us to separate. Mm -hmm. So, but for today, we will say thank you to you. And uh, any last words to our viewers? To our viewers, I want to thank you in advance because I know you're going to be there. Yeah. Be connected to three uh, uh, ministries.org. Be connected to our Facebook page, Le Réveil de Charlotte and also uh, be connected uh, uh, on our uh, Twitter account. We will be, on, will, be, will be live. I know that you will be blessed, but the most important is for you to come here. If you can get here, I know you will be blessed more than just following us on live. Can you also give them the address? Yeah, the address is 1208 Commercial Avenue in Charlotte, North Carolina, 28205. Again, 1208 Commercial Avenue. In Charlotte, North Carolina, 28205. And you can also um, uh, call us on 001, I mean 704-777-9377. Again, 704-777-9377. Uh, we will be there just waiting for you, waiting for your call, and we are keeping the blessing for you. You will not be the, 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 uh, the disappointed. Seat, disappointed. Yep. You will receive what you will come to look for. God bless you. Thank you, Pastor Edipis. To all of you, our viewers, you heard the man of God. He's inviting all of you all to come. Please come. Come and see God. All of you all know the impact of this man's ministry. You see how God moved through his ministry. You see how God acts through his ministry. I'm inviting you to come. As there's a good shout, we'll be there. And we're waiting for to see you. There's so many to be here to support this great man of God. May God bless you. Good night to you. Thank you. Thank you.